Üdvözlet mindenkinek, és salom! Valakinek kérdése van, javaslata vagy hozzászólása, megtalál minket ezeken az elérhetőségeken, és egyben lehetősége van mindenkinek arra, hogy amennyiben hasznosak találja a munkánkat, hozzájáruljon ahhoz. Így még több emberhez el tud jutni az információ, és nem csak egy oldalú lesz ez a folyamat. Köszönet, hála és dicsőség a Bajahuának! The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. This year, next year, vaccine policy is economic policy. Vaccine policy is economic policy. Vaccine policy is economic policy. Uh, and uh, it is even a higher pro- priority than the traditional tools of fiscal and monetary policy. Why? Because without it, we cannot turn the fate of the world economy around. And it is, as uh, uh, Chair Powell said, smart policy. Smart policy. Smart policy. We calculated at the fund that between now and 2025, we will add $9 trillion dollars to global output if everybody is vaccinated mm. faster. And the other interesting piece of this is 60% will go to the developing and emerging market economies. 40% of the benefit would go to advanced economies and that would translate into $1 trillion dollars additional tax revenues in advanced economies. I cannot think of a better value for money this and next year than investing in accelerated vaccinations. Dreams are my speciality. Through dreams, I influence mankind. Voltak olyan pácienseink, akik oltatlanok voltak, és a halálos ágyán mondta, hogy ú, hogy nem oltattam be magam. Lehet, hogy ezzel meg, meg tudtam volna előzni azt, hogy én ilyen állapotban vagyok. To kind of catapult the propaganda. Többen közülük is meggyógyultak, hála Istennek, nem mindannyian. És hogyha belettek volna oltva, akkor biztos, hogy nem jut idáig az állapotok, hogy, hogy ennyire válságosá válik. Teljesen világos volt, hogy amit mondunk, az nem igaz. Meg kell ragadni ezt a, ezt a lehetőséget. Az oltás az semmi, semmivel nem jár együtt igazából, maximum egy napos levertséggel. Viszont ha valaki elkapja a delta variánst, akár oltatlanul, akár már egy kicsit elfeledett immunrendszerrel, végzetes is lehet sajnálatos módon, akár fiatalokra is. Valójában teljesen mindegy, milyen oltást kapunk. Jelenleg az egész földgolyón egy gyógyszer kísérlet zajlik. Az oltás mindig jobb, mint maga a betegség. Igaz, már 6 millióan vagyunk, de ez még mindig nem elég ahhoz, hogy, hogy ez a világjárvány ne aktivizálódjon újból, mint a most a negyedik hullám. Az oltás véd, ha nincs oltva valaki, akkor az megvédtelen. Teljesen mindegy, hogy mi milyen oltást választunk, illetve milyen oltást javasol az oltóorvos, bele kell menni, hogy hajrá. But the people are retarded. In terms of the number of people in hospital who've been double vaccinated, we know it's around 60% of the people being admitted to hospital with COVID have been double vaccinated. Az oltás véd, az oltás véd. And that's not surprising because the vaccines are not 100% effective. Jelenleg az egész földgolyón egy gyógyszer kísérlet zajlik. They're very, very effective, but not 100%. And as a higher proportion of the population is double vaccinated, it's inevitable that those 10% of that very large number remain at risk and therefore will be amongst the people who both catch the infection and end up in hospital. So whilst vaccines are very effective at reducing severe disease, they're also effective at reducing the chance of catching it and reducing the chance of passing it on, but they're slightly less effective at doing that than they are at preventing severe disease. And so Uh, what we will see as we get the, uh, uh, let's say everybody, if everybody over the 18 had taken up the vaccine, then of course anybody who caught it would be double vaccinated. So the answer is that we should expect to see a higher proportion of people in hospital and catching the infection who are double vaccinated. That is inevitable that we will see that because of the, um, not, uh, the, the less than 100% efficacy of the vaccines overall. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.
we could accelerate our return to normal life if we had a screen test that could be used anywhere, by anybody, securely and safely, seamlessly connected to a digital pass. Our mission is to build a new generation of digital biosensors to remotely diagnose and monitor patients. Test and Pass digitizes biochemical signals from the virus directly on a chip within five minutes from a saliva or nasal swab using our free smartphone app and contactless near field communication. The biosensor is made from functionalized graphene. The test part of Test and Pass is single use and disposable, while the pass part is reusable and detachable from the test and can interface wirelessly with smartphones. The free smartphone app integrates a secure biometric identifier to anonymously identify users on site. The digital health pass consists of the user's test result and their encrypted facial recognition data allow for the health pass to be read and interpreted without sharing data over the internet. It provides organizations with a trustworthy, easy to deploy tool to screen large populations for pathogens. Lilu Dallas Vilagyeg. And it can support airports and airlines, cruises and ships, gathering places and more. Lilu Dallas Vilagyeg. These new graphene-based digital biosensors will accelerate our return to normality with a simple, efficient solution, reducing rates of transmission and making the world a safer place. Uniós szintű vita kell a kötelező oltásokról, azonban ez a kérdés a tagállamok hatásköre. Megértem a vitát, és erre szükség is van. Fontos, hogy különbséget tegyünk az oltottak és az oltatlanok között a mindennapi életben, az éttermekben vagy a tömegközlekedésen. Ki akarnak írtani minket? Ez a kezelés önkéntes. Senki nem beszél itt, senki kiírtásáról. De kérdéses az, hogy helyes-e a kötelező oltás. Erre a vitára szükségünk van, mondta a német egészségügyi miniszter. Ne áltassátok magatokat, a vérünket akarják. Ránk fogják kényszeríteni a gyógymódjukat. A kötelező oltás kérdése azonban a tagállamok döntése lesz. Ez nem azt jelenti, hogy a jövőben, hogy a jövőben, hogy a jövőben ne lenne szükség arra, hogy uniós szinten közösen is hozzunk döntéseket. Thank you, François. It's, it's a pleasure for me to be again uh, in this prestigious forum, and this is actually something that needs to be understood: how technology can inspire from geopolitics and how geopolitics can inspire from technology. In 20 years' time, we will have forgotten totally the COVID virus. In 20 years' time, the only thing we will have learned that in 2021, we enter into a digital society where human has lost the control of their digital identity, where human has lost the control of their digital identity, where human has lost the control of their digital identity. And that has an amazing, profound consequence that inside the architecture of the World Wide Web, the human does not exist. The web doesn't know where the human is. The web doesn't make any difference between a human, a dog, a, a tree, a computer. So at that time, nobody realized that there was consequences for that. But now those consequences are detrimental to humanity. Transhuman, because that's what we are becoming. Transhuman, we're going to be enhanced. But there is a code, which is or humanity. Humans cannot be replaced and should not be replaced, but that needs an action. Acceleration is a $10 trillion economy, Facebook, Apple, Google, Amazon, these guys were zero value a few years ago, and now they are sitting in a monopolistic situation of $10 trillion economy and expanding 40%, 50% per year. What is their product? What do they sell? They sell us. They sell us. They sell us. And why? Because they don't treat us as a human. They don't treat us as a human. They don't treat us as a human. They treat us as a consumers. So we are consumers for them. And consumers, don't have feeling, consumer don't care whether you have family or not. Consumer is something that you dispose the moment that consumer is tough to consume. Technology is exponential, 12, 24, 64, 128. This exponentiality is accelerating by the fact that for the first time, technologies are converging. We are similar to where we were at the Renaissance, where you have different ge geometry, architecture, uh, philosophy, we're converging. Now we are in that process of convergence. The blockchain is converging. Artificial intelligence is converging. IoT is connecting one trillion devices now per year and expanding to something like 30 trillion uh, devices. Everything will connect. But will connect to where? Where the things are connecting? Where the things are connecting? Where the things are connecting? And what is the role of the human into that interconnection? Actually, they are connecting to the metaverse. Actually, they are connecting to the metaverse. 
actually they are connecting to the metaverse. So the metaverse is going to be like the web in your, in your kids' ears every day because they live already in the metaverse. They live already in the metaverse. They live already in the metaverse. Maybe the only people don't live yet on the metaverse is ourselves due to our age and maybe the fact that we don't even know what it is. So the metaverse is the destination where all those NFTs, non-fungible tokens, are actually going towards. The metaverse is that virtual space where our kids playing games are spending many hours a day and where we think that actually they are losing their time. But when they talk to us back, they say, actually, dad, you don't understand what is going on. What I'm doing is actually living on the next generation evolution of the internet. The metaverse is internet 3.0. In that metaverse of 3.0, everything connects. And if you are not in the metaverse, you don't exist. Actually, companies are now creating themselves of the metaverse. Zero staff, no CEO, no CFO, no CTO. The metaverse is their living space. The problem is that because the product is the consumer, and this $10 trillion economy is actually growing exponentially due to consumer behavior, and because the consumer are giving them data, then they can sell it. There is nothing else. There is no an alternative. There is no a plan B. It's only a plan A. And because those countries that they are hosting those companies have a zero interest to make it different because they will destroy their digital economy. And I mentioned the United States and China now to that, to that point. The only place on earth that you can create a plan B is Europe. It's digital identification, which is essential to protect the human. Because if you don't have a digital identity, you don't exist. If you don't have a digital identity, you don't exist. If you don't have a digital identity, you don't exist. Fear will keep the local systems in line. Fear of this battle station. Actually, you might have a consumer identity, but you don't have a digital identity. Therefore, if you do not have a digital identity, and a digital identity is not your credit card or your passport or your fitness card, it is actually your birth certificate, your birth certificate, your birth certificate. As you have a birth certificate from the city you burn one day, you have also a digital birth certificate the moment you enter into the internet. And that belongs to you, and it stays under your consent while you need it. If one day you decide to retire or you decide not to be bothered anymore with this digital life, you should we have the possibility to revoke that digital identity and that is back to your control so this morning everybody was talking about cold war actually we are not anymore in a cold war we are in an invisible world the invisible war the invisible war the invisible war between countries that they want to control the metaverse and in the metaverse imagine the metaverse is like a massive cloud if if you don't have your country in that cloud if that cloud doesn't have a space for your country you are colonized by others. You don't exist. Because democracy basically means government by the people, of the people, for the people. But the people are retarded. Sizi aslında çok farklı bir gelecek bekliyor sevgili gençler. Nasıl bir gelecek? Dijital olanın, fiziksel olanın, biyolojik olanın Aynı bedende bütünleşeceği bir çağa doğru gidiyoruz. Buna singularity çağı diyorlar. Yani 20 sene sonra hepinizin vücutlarında çiplerin olacağı, herkesin düşüncesinin uzaydan okunacağı bir çağa doğru gidiyoruz. Bizim bu konularda muhakkak mesafe almamız şart. Bugün ilkokula başlayanlar 2040'larda iş hayatına atılacaklar. Ve büyük ölçüde yapay zeka marifetiyle Robotların hakim olduğu, işlerin yüzde seksenine yakının robotların yaptığı bir çağ olacak. But he left one final warning. 1984 is, I believe, a quite terrifying masterpiece. So terrifying, in fact, I don't think I should like to read another like it. I'm not absolutely dissatisfied with it. I think it is a good idea, but the execution would have been better if I had not been under the influence of TB when I wrote it. You once claimed that you have an ability to face unpleasant facts. Is that what you demonstrated in 1984 by drawing an accurate portrait of the future? I think that allowing for the book being, after all, a parody, something like 1984 could actually happen. This is the direction the world is going in at the present time. In our world, there will be no emotions except fear, rage, triumph, and self-abasement. Fear will keep the local systems in line. Fear of this battle station. The sex instinct will be eradicated. We shall abolish the orgasm. 
there will be no loyalty except loyalty to the party. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. Tudni egy biztos, az összes virológus azt mondja, hogy nyakig vagyunk a negyedik hullámban. És hogy a neheze ez után következik. To kind of catapult the propaganda. Tehát nem túl vagyunk a csúcsponton, hanem az még vár ránk. Ezért a számok is emelkedni, fog, fo- emelkedni fognak. Mindenki elkaphatja a vírust, de nem mindegy, hogy milyen következményekkel. Azt világosan látjuk, hogy akik nincsenek beoltva, azok életveszélyben vannak. Tehát döbben, megdöbbentő, tragikus egész családokat a lehetetlen helyzetbe hozó híreket kapunk. A családfő meghal, anyuka élethalál között. Fear. We'll keep the local systems in line. A gyerekek is súlyosan betegek, és nincsenek beoltva. Ehelyett hazudtunk reggel, éjjel, meg este. Tehát én a felelőtlenség szót nem szívesen használom, mert mindenki is felelős saját magáért, de itt azért többről is szó van, mert mindenki, aki nincs beoltva, nem csak magára nézve, hanem a többiekre nézve is mindannyiunkra veszélyt jelent. Teljesen világos volt, hogy amit mondunk, az nem igaz. Tehát abban is egyetértenek a virológusok, hogy a védelmi intézkedések azok nem védenek meg a vírustól. A járvány terjedésének a sebességét lassítják. Az egyetlen dolog, ami megvéd, az az oltás. Nyilvánvalóan végig hazudtuk az utolsó másfél-két évet. És most már azt is látjuk, a szakemberek legalábbis egybehangzóan azt mondják, hogy a második oltás után 4-6 hónappal az oltásnak a védő ereje, a véd ereje, az gyengül. Jelenleg az egész földgolyón egy gyógyszer kísérlet zajlik. Ezért a harmadik oltás fölvétele az indokolt. Nem tudok más mondani, mint hogy én magam is fölvettem. Teljesen világos volt, hogy amit mondunk, az nem igaz. A második oltás után fölvettem a harmadik oltást is. Teljesen világos volt, hogy amit mondunk, az nem igaz. Nem is kaptam el egyelőre ezt a vírust, vagy ha el fogom kapni, akkor remélem, hogy nem dönt le a lábamról. A virológusok esküsznek arra a tényre, hogy a harmadik oltás utáni védettségi szint az jóval magasabb, mint a második oltás. Ehelyett hazudtunk reggel, éjjel, meg este. Utáni védettségi szint, és természetesen sokkal magasabb, mint ha nem lennénk egyáltalán beoltva. Baj, oka az az, hogy még mindig nincs mindenki beoltva. Ha mindenki be lenne oltva, nem lenne negyedik hullám. Vagy ha hullám lenne, az inkább csak hullám mocska lenne. És akkor nem lesz ötödik hullám, hogyha mindenki beoltja magát. Nem fogjuk tudni elkerülni, hogy a végén mindenki beoltassa magát. Csak ezt egy lépésbe is megtehetnénk, és hamarabb lenne mindenki védett, nem halnának meg, nem betegednének meg az emberek. Így, hogy az oltatlanok húzzák, halasszák, ezért magukkal húzzák és megnyújtják a járvány időszakát is. De a végén mindenkinek be kell majd oltani a magát, még az oltás ellenesek is rá fognak arra jönni, hogy vagy beoltják magukat, vagy meghalnak. Hogy vagy beoltják magukat, vagy meghalnak. Beoltják magukat, vagy meghalnak. Nem fogják kényszeríteni a gyógymódjukat. Ugyan kitagadhatta Kevin, már aki épészsel bír, hogy a 20. század egészen az enyém volt. Az egész, Kevin! Az egész! Az enyém! A csúcson vagyok. Eljött az én időm. A mi időnk. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Valakinek kérdése van, javaslata vagy hozzászólása, megtalál minket ezeken az elérhetőségeken. És egyben lehetősége van mindenkinek arra, hogy amennyiben hasznosabb találja a munkánkat, hozzájáruljon ahhoz. Így még több emberhez el tud jutni az információ, és nem csak egy oldalú lesz ez a folyamat. Köszönet, hála és dicsőség Abba Jahuának, és Shalom.